Well, as we know, age is the main risk factor for Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, therefore, an understanding, a better understanding of the links or the mechanistic links between Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases and brain normal brain aging uh, is of high interest to to see. Uh, so, in order, o sea, with this aim, uh, the the framework of brain aids uh, started, in which we assume that we can try to understand the using different structural MRI measurements or different MRI measurements uh, the effects of aging in the brain in these measurements. Uh, with this, the idea is to try to develop a marker uh, that on an individual basis is able to detect the risk uh, for having different diseases or for having an aging trajectory which is unexpectedly normal for us to say. So the idea is that we get a marker which is able to tell us our brain aids, our brain aids. And in this case, if we have a brain age above our chronological age, it will mean that something uh, is maybe not going as expected, as good as expected. And the opposite, whether we have a brain age which is younger than our, our chronological age, so there's something protective or something that we are doing that is good for maintaining our health. So the idea is to establish a biomarker in this case to objectively and quantitatively detect these changes in aging uh, in order to be able to use it to, to detect changes in cases where we want to develop therapies uh, to, to reduce aging uh, and, and therefore to, to find the differences uh, when, when applying these uh, strategies or different treatments. As the burden of the the population, which is now getting older, uh, it's uh, try to overcome it. Yeah.